never get enough track oh! Oh! What have you done with my loins? Wednesday, 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 Wednesday. Yeah, what's good? Yeah, what's happening? Uh, we are now live. Yeah, seven in the a.m. Oh, I slept pretty good. Gotta check my Fitbit. Fell on top of my blankets. I don't even know who did it. Yo, for real though, that was fucking creepy. I'm gonna tell you a quick story about my sleep. Welcome to Dunk Life Daily, episode 35. Speaking super fast because that's how I do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't know what to do with my hands. I have so much room here. My studio's growing. I can't wait to get a fucking woo uh, poster right here. Keep this one for the OGs. That was one of the commenters. If you comment, you're engaged. You're part of the energy, bro. It's not just me. Even though I'm the one yelling at you. It's a contribution of everyone involved because you guys fuel me. You guys give me information. You guys are part of the Ponzi scheme. I'm at the top. Of course I'm at the top. Of course. Because I'm the energy leader. Okay? I'm wearing a goddamn energy shirt. I created myself. Okay? You can get one, by the way. If you want to like me. I want to make new gear. I want to make my studio sick. I want to make my fucking legs sick by getting them healthy with my hamstrings. Bruh! We're making progress in all areas. That's what it's about. I keep hitting my nose on a on thing. Can you tell? I don't know. Whoo! Okay, Dunk Life Daily, fucking episode 35, baby. Unless, <laughs> yo, crazy energy because I'm not jumping. Because I'm in rehab mode. I told you on another podcast, sometimes you got to go in rehab mode. Sometimes you got to stay away from the jumping. And that's the life metaphor of today. Today, my hamstrings fucked. I worked on it. I fucking did my, uh, what's it called? The ball, myofascial release. Fucking hurts today because I did it so much, but that's good. And I did the myofascial release for my glutes. Hopefully get the muscle a little warm. Then I tried to stretch it out. And I'm telling you this because it's it's part of my dunk journey and it's all the details. We give you, I give you all my details on here so you can learn as much as you can. Plus, it's metaphors for life. Laid off my hamstring stretching, even because that's what's damaged. And I worked on my hip flexibility and my lower back and my glutes because that's the surrounding muscle. So sometimes in life, you can't attack the problem directly. You got to work on all the stuff around it before you get to, and then it releases tension on the actual obstacle. So today's jump day, happy jump day, everybody. But I'm not jumping today, which I usually have been on the past few weeks, and I'm not jumping manana. I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to get healthy because I got to think long term. I got to practice what I preach. And most importantly, I got to remember what I said to you guys and I have to live it. No, but it is smart. It is the smart thing to do. It's the right thing to do. Uh, let me tell you about my creepy sleep real quick because it got fucking weird. I have an oil diffuser with like uh, eucalyptus and peppermint next to my bed. It's very, it smells delicious. And it's probably good for my allergies. I'm trying it out. I love it. I love the routine of it. I love putting it on there. It smells good. Triggers. Habits, triggers, when your smell is the strongest thing. I said this in another podcast. So when I smell it, it makes me relax. And if I go to sleep every time I smell it, then when I smell it, it makes me relax. It's like a trigger. You get the point. Point is, that went off after like six hours on a timer. and made it like, beep. And I'm a fucking light ass sleeper. That little beep woke me up. I was like, I can't believe that. Up. Beep woke me up, but it did. So beep, I'm up. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I'm cold. And I try to roll the blanket on me because it's like half on me. And I go to roll it and it's like stuck. I'm like, okay, is it, what is it stuck on? Did it fall off the bed and I'm super weak because I'm half comatose? I try to pull it. I'm like, I'm like leaning on it. Why am I? And I like try to lift up my body and I look, I'm on top of the blanket, but I got to mention that, um, I got scared that this stopped for a second. Uh, I got to mention that I'm fucking, I went to sleep under it. I make my bed every morning. Um, and I was like under it perfectly. I literally fell asleep on my back cause I was so tired. I fell asleep like a fucking angel. The, the second half of the bed was still like made. And I woke up from that, boop, that I'm on top of it. And I'm like, what the what the fuck happened? How am I on top of it? Why am I on top of it? I, like, it was like perfectly, it was so weird. And I still, actually, I don't know if it was a dream or not, but I don't think it was anyway. I just kind of like moved it, got back under it. I'm like, okay, hopefully the demons are nice to me. Maybe that was a little joke they played. They just like lifted me up in my sleep and then dropped me back down. Yeah, I don't, I honestly don't even put that past the world that I could just like get float, like lifted up. If I, if I sleep so lightly that I literally levitate above it, why not? I mean, we don't even know why we're, we're fucking walking upright and we have limbs. Well, why just, just because nature created us that way, but uh, what we don't, we, we can't even see things and things happen like radio waves. And you get the point. Woo! Okay. Exciting news on writing Wednesday, jump day, Wednesday. What the fuck? Wednesday started a goddamn energy book. I just paused. 
for those listening. And I'm really excited because just like this podcast, it feels like the alignment of information and my strengths and content that feels perfect. I tried to write a little dunk life book about my dunking journey, which I think is very valuable as well, because there's a lot of details in there about my experience that are unique to me, but have helped me change my view. And I feel like that understanding is very valuable for you guys to know. So I might put that dunk life book, um, info in this book, but I, this book is about what energy means to me, how I got to this psychotic level, um, how I got to be a silly psycho, which is definitely a perfect name for you guys. I was calling them silly psychos, but that's too, you need silly psychos is perfect because it's got the silliness of the comedy that I love and the psychos, the psychosis. So that's, that's you. That's you. If you're, if you're listening to this, you're a fucking silly psycho because you fucking love to get silly and you fucking love to put your mind on overdrive all the time. So the point is, is like, it's how I got the energy, why I love it. And then my story, kind of like how my mind shifted, how my, how I got my little, uh, awareness up, like what, what changed in my life, what made me like this and now why I love it and what my goals are and things like that. And also how you can do the same, how you can become psychotic. It's awesome. And I mean, psychotic in a good way. I'm a doctor. I'm also very, I'm, I'm, I'm what's it called? I'm a therapist. I'm a psychologist. I'm all of it always. And at all times every day. And so yeah, I'm really excited about it because it feels like a big expression of myself. And then writing is so impactful because when you write, it's permanent, meaning like it's not just an idea that you have to go grab. You put it down and it's there and then you could fix it. You could organize it. You could rearrange it. And that's very helpful for me. I think writing might be a really great medium for me. As I learned, the podcast is great for me because my on my mind and my ideas change so rapidly that daily is great for me. And then talking, I can express long form. I can go on tangents. I can express my personality, all that type of shit. But writing is the same way, but I can make it a little more structured. This I can't really structure because God damn it, it's tough. But I could if I had more time. So support your boy. There's so many links below you can support me with. Do one of them. Give me a dollar a month sometimes. Uh, but yeah, if you do support me though, for real, it helps me. I can get these things out quicker. I can give better information. I can make more videos because I have more time and I have the, uh, understand I have the, uh, what's it called? I have even more fuel because I know you guys want them even more. But and seriously, it's like, it's my dream to do this. I love doing it. I think, I think I'm good at it. And I also fucking, I'm perfect for it. Okay. I'm fucking so much goddamn energy. How are you waking up today? Huh? Tell me who you, uh, yeah. Would you be up? Would you be doing what you're doing right now? Would you even like be attacking the day if you weren't ever listening to me? No. Okay. You'd be fucking sleeping right now. You're up. You're fucking cleaning your apartment as you're listening to this or you're fucking, what are you doing? You're making food for the day. You're going the extra mile because of this, because I'm yelling in your goddamn cer- uh, cerebellum. Um, what are they saying? So it's about my story, why I love it, how I got to this point and then how you can too. And I'm going to get it organized and I'm super excited about it because it feels right. And I'm just pumped. And I, I'm also telling you this. So it's out there and you guys can fucking be on my ass. Be like, when's it coming? And I, I feel pressure to do it. And I feel I put my goals out there. I do that a lot. And I really will make this happen. And I'm excited about it. And I really am passionate how valuable it is. Like, I really think the information is what I love about books that I've read in my experience with the books I've read is that you can hear the person talking and it's like accumulation of their experiences. And that's the most unique thing about a person is that they read certain books, they had certain life experiences. And and when they share their experience with all those combined, it's one unique thing. So I feel, um, that I have the same thing as I started dunking. I had, different things growing up that happened. And then I have the certain books that read and certain successes as well. So I could put that all in one place and help you guys learn from my experience, which is the most valuable. And that's it. Uh, and then let's do a little on this day. So thank you for joining. Thank you for listening. This has been so much fun. Every goddamn time, you know how much I love it. So thank you. And if you want to help me out even more, go leave me a weird review on, on my, on my rating things. Nothing better than when people leave the weirdest reviews. I want this to be the Ponzi scheme that I'm on top of. I want to be on top of a really high Ponzi scheme because it'd be so great. Get in early. Okay. The more, the earlier you get in. Okay. 1281 on today, August 14th, Kublai Khan's Second Mongol invasion. Oh, God. First is the worst. Second is the best, right? Second Mongol invasion of Japan. His invading Chinese fleet of 3,500 vessels disappears in a typhoon near Japan. Okay, so imagine being 1281. You're Kublai Khan. Okay, your Chinese fleet's traveling on the seas. Typhoon, calm, done. Whole plan. You're planning that thing out. You got no Google Maps. You got no... 
You got no, uh, what are you using the stars to navigate? You got a whole plan. It's your, you were invaded once. Didn't work. Second invasion. Here we go. Typhoon. <laughs> Damn, that's fucking rough. Today in film, 1938, BBC's first feature film on TV, Student of Prague. <sighs> Do I commit to watching that? Uh, I am a movie buff. Uh, cinema is so big in my life. Uh, student of Prague, though? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know. We'll see. I want to watch every movie in the world. Hopefully in the future when this technology, I can fucking fast forward in my brain. Fast forward in my brain. There's something else I wanted to say. That's it. Okay. Today in music, 1995, Battle of Britpop. Rival bands Oasis roll with it and Blur Country House releases single on the same day. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck. Today in sport, 1987, Mark McGuire. Mark McGuire sets rookie home, home run record at 39 and route to 49. Congrats, Mark McGuire. For some reason, that name was always so big in my life. Maybe because when I was a kid, he was so popular. All right, I'm going to the... Dunk Lifer of the Day on my latest vlog with Isaiah was amazing comment by Cooper Potter. The only way to success is believing and never giving up on your dream. Anything is possible. Mild psychosis, I literally believe anything is possible. Like you could fly off the ground right now, but the reason you can is because you can't believe you can. So you can either think, okay, it's not possible, or is, but you can't prove to me that's not because you can't believe it. Because who can believe they can do that? It's like, how can you get to that 100%? I really believe, because like, and I don't even mean just straight levitate. If you believe 100%, maybe you find a way to get off the ground with your body and it's considered flying. I don't know. But my point is, is like, how do you prove to me that it's not just that you can't get yourself to believe it, that that's why it doesn't happen? I don't know. I love to think of the magic. The universe doesn't matter. And it could be a fucking blink on some fucking extraterrestrials fucking uh, cell, cell membrane. It could be a fucking scratch. Like he scratches his cell membrane and it flakes off a piece of skin and, or whatever they have in their bodies or body, whatever or energy thing. And that's our whole universe. And that could be us. And you're going to tell me we can't fly once? Pfft. We're the silly psychos out here. The silly psychos. It, com- it gets both. Silly, comedic, psycho. Silly, psych. If you're listening, you're a fucking silly ass psycho. I fucking love that. Can I win the program? Maybe. Somebody already won, though. <laughs> um, and then from the comments of Cartoon Tuesday, energy is super badass, says Ryan Born Traeger. Love your enthusiasm you have for Duncan. Thank you. And then I really like this compet by Mustic M. Emery. Same things are boring, bruh. Please, new concept. Okay, you know what? I've got you. <laughs> Yesterday was Cartoon Tuesday, and today is what the fuck Wednesday. So I got new concepts all day, bro. There's no concept. This What's a concept? You tell me what a concept is, and I'll fucking do it. Give me one. Let's go. Help me out, bro. This is a Ponzi scheme. I can't do everything, bro. I trickle it down. You guys give me some energy, too. Anyway, I'm kidding. I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind the criticism. I fucking love everything. I, I laugh at everything. Okay. What was I going to say? I think that's it for today. And was there anything else I wanted to do? Uh, I definitely think so, but that's, what's great about this podcast. When I forget something, it just comes on tomorrow. So I'll write it down the second I remember it. Cause I know as soon as I turn off this camera, just like the blog comments, I fucking write it down cause I forget. And then the tomorrow is perfect. Cause I can just do it again. Otra vez. Okay. Gracias para los escúchame. Thank you for listening. Thank you for fucking tuning in. Support your boy and fucking go hard at your dreams, but also be smart and also get ready ready for the energy book because it's coming and i hope you like it and i'm really thinking of a title and if i i might give you a little sneak peek but i might not super pumped about this studio coming together i want to get my fucking huge i want to get like a sick banner for dunk life daily because it's fucking we got to go all in bro you got to live the life you can't be like ah it's chintzy thing you got to invest in yourself fucking let's go fucking get your skin up fucking go outside and join nature if it's cold put on a jacket and fucking don't go outside because it's nice i'm used to the heat we're living in the heat if you want some heat come to the podcast let's go we're out here we're all together look at the person nearest you when you leave your house today and be like what the fuck that person's not in the fucking game dude he's on the bench He's not, he's not maximizing his mind. He's not fucking in that energy. He's not, ma- he's not thinking he can fly with, it, with his feet. That's it. Fuck it. What the fuck Wednesday? Love you. All right. Toodaloo. That's young life. Oh, that's the anthem right there. Tried to make an intro, ended up making an anthem. Oh.